Hello and welcome. This is a wonderful day. It's Sunday. The sun is shining and uh, we have a lot of things to think about. First off, I'm Vivian Louise Sharp in the United States of America in the Cleveland, Ohio area. Eastern Standard Time It's about 1 o'clock p.m. Today at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, I'm coming to you as close to the top of the hour as possible. Today I want to talk to you about the SWOT in marketing, but that is called SWATs. I will get to that after I tell you about the Beatitudes and also the salt of the earth. I like salt. Period. Some people like sugar. I like salt. And that's not always a good thing. But in the Bible, in the Matthew 5, 13 through 16, it says, and this is the NIV version, verse 13, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Verse 14, You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. Verse 16, In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. And that comes from the NIV version of the Holy Bible. And I have my marketing book here for me. This is talking about something I've talked to you about before. SWATs. Marketing. Ta -da. And I've always wanted to remember what SWOT stands for. It's a SWOT analysis that you use in your marketing plan. And here is the definition. The systematic evaluation of an organization's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And a SWOT analysis is to select a particular strategy management considers the organization's mission and abilities. One way to do this is through the use of SWOT analysis or the systematic evaluation of the organization's internal strengths and weaknesses and external opportunities and threats. SWOT, S-W-O-T, stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. It goes on to say, to conduct a SWOT analysis, the manager first evaluates the areas of strengths and weakness in the organization. Strengths would include patents, customer loyalty, the ability to produce goods or services at relatively low cost, and financial resources available to pursue new opportunities. Some possible weaknesses are high costs, lack of financing, and brands that are not well known or respected. In evaluating strengths and weaknesses, the manager particularly looks for the things the organization does better than anyone else. These are called the organization's distinctive competencies, especially significant are areas where the organization excels at using its resources to enhance quality, shorten the time it takes to bring a new product to market, and build strong relationships with channel members and end users of its products. So there we have reading, 
so that I don't have to tax my brain to sell all that to you today. In the meantime, have you done your marketing plan? You're the one that needs to get the information out. And if you don't know how to do it, go to uh, SCORE, so, uh, it stands for Retired Executives, in your city, SCORE, S-C-O-R-E, or S-V-A, the Small Business Administration. They have a team that will help you with your marketing plan. Or you can get a company like um, I did, like GrowThink. That's one of the companies, but I'm not recommending anyone particularly just get your marketing plan done. And you also need to um, do a threats, the things that will cause your business to fail. So SWAT, S-W-O-T, four important little roads to success. But you must have these obstacles that sometimes are obstacles to you, but you may have to pay for them, but you are the one that will give the information to the person that will do your marketing plan. Thank you so much for being with me today, and I'll be back with you again at two o'clock, giving you some good information that you can prove, information that you can prove. I'm Vivian Louise Sharp, out of Cleveland, Ohio area. Stay put. Enjoy. Stay in. Don't go out if you don't have to. And today's Sunday. I hope it's Sunday where you are. If not, it soon will be. Thank you very much. Have a great day.